Hello everyone, I'm David Gawley. I'm a member of the Digital and Asset Integration team here at Pentagon Solutions. In this short video, we're going to have a look at adding an asset in Maintenance Connection. We're going to look at some asset documentation, how we add in preventative maintenance information, and finally, how we access uh, this through a mobile device. For those of you who aren't aware of what uh, Maintenance Connection is, it's a computerized maintenance management system, CMMS. It is also an enterprise asset management system. It's multi-site, multi-industry. It can be used for buildings, mechanical, plant, infrastructure, and utility assets. It can be cloud-based or it can be on-premise, and it also integrates with document management systems such as Accruent Meridian. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply log into the interface through the cloud. I'm going to pick my site, and when this logs in, it'll present me with my dashboard. Each user has their own configuration and have own, their own rights and uh, permissions in there. Um, I can see a list of my current work orders and just as a quick tour if I click the assets you can see I can drill down into the different areas from work orders to predictive maintenance and um, my schedules and my stock rooms. I simply just want to go to my assets. Um, I'm going to have a look through my different sites. I'm going to look at this one in Airport Road West and the particular information that I want to add in the asset is going to be a septic tank. Uh, I want to do this for my grounds so I'm going to pick in my grounds and right click and add my asset location. So I need to classify this. I'm gonna say, well, look, it's an actual asset and then I can actually pick up my class. So again, this configuration in here is unique. It can be customized to your business. So I'm simply gonna pick up and see if I have a classification for septic type. I do, and I'm gonna apply this in here. For, for the asset ID, I'm automatically numbered. Again, I can add a unique identifier in there and this could be migrated from other systems and other databases. The model in this case, it's a pure flow board pneumonia tank. I'm going to add that in, and then we can add in the serial number as well. Um, so the repair center is actually Pentagon Solutions because it's maintained by ourselves. We're just going to hit apply on that. And the vendor is board pneumonia, so we can search for that information um, or we just look at it alphabetically. I'm going to pick board pneumonia from the list. Um, for the vicinity, we can add in some um, more information. I'm just going to say it's East Lane Way. Um, and we can see if that information there and the auto number of the tank will actually pick up as well. So we see we've got the label in here. There's lots of additional information we can add in from the model uh, information, costs, even insurance. We're not going to go into that today. Um, I am going to add in a photograph of it. Um, so I'm just going to simply upload that photo. I'm going to choose a file from my um, local disk, override any existing ones in there and just apply and again that photograph will get applied and to the system. So once it's appeared we can hit apply and that will get applied in there. So I've generated my asset, I've got the photo against it, um, I've also got I can use a QR code, uh, I can use a barcode to get access to that information so I can print it out leave it on the site. And that's handy for um, the remote user, um, particularly if they're going through Maintenance Connection Express for mobile devices. Two areas I want to focus on now. I'm going to look at uh, preventive maintenance tasks. Oh, we're going to hit a quick save first. And then we're going to go to our preventive maintenance. So preventive maintenance is very important for asset management in here. So um, I'm going to add my PM tasks in. But I'm going to do a search to see what's uh, available in my lists. Um, we're going to do a search based on septic tanks. So I do a quick search. I can see there's two PM tasks in there. One's a desludge, one's an inspection. Um, we're going to add in the desludge. That happens every six months, so I'm going to apply that. And then we're going to have add in the inspection. That happens every one month. Again, you can customize these depending on your business um, and configure them very, very easily. In fact, to have a look at that, let's have a look at the desludge. We can open that up in a new window. And we can see the schedule. Uh, we can see any procedures in there. So let's do a deeper dive into the procedures. So these are the tasks that need to be performed uh, for the desludge. This is the estimated time as well. So we can close out of that. And we can do the same for the actual inspection. So we can open that in a new window. We can have a look at the schedule. We can have a look at the procedure and we can drill down into the actual tasks. So we can see the individual tasks that we have to confirm that the um, panel's working, that the float switch is working, that the pump is operational. 
So all these tasks can be configured based on your business needs. I'm going to hit quick save on that. I've added the PP, PPM tasks in. Um, what we're going to add in is some documents now. Um, and I'm simply going to add in some new documents. We can connect this to our uh, enterprise asset, our enterprise um, document management system, but we're going to look at that in another video. I'm simply going to add new, and I'm going to upload two documents that I have. So we've got the service form, I've got the technical brochure. I'm going to see it uploaded, and that's going to attach that self, attach it to the asset. So when that's uploaded, simply going to hit close, Want to see that information we can click on it we can view the record so we can see um, the information related to the record and again we can have a look at the other record as well and so remote users will be able to access this information it's a technical brochure related to it so that's my asset added in here. Um, I can add this into my favorites as well, so I can quickly access this information very easily. If I just do a quick refresh, so next time in, in interface, um, we can look at this drill down very, very quickly into through our favorites, um, rather than searching. So I'll have that separate tank on my asset records uh, very quickly. Okay, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna have a look at how we access that information from a mobile device. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at um, our camera and um, quick look at the QR code here. It's been generated on the screen. Obviously, this would be printed out to the asset. I'm going to click on this and this will take me to Maintenance Connection Express. Again, I can use my face ID in here to actually uh, get into the system. I'm currently on an iPhone at the minute. I'll use my face ID for the password and go next. So this will take me directly to the septic tank asset uh, information in here. So it's bringing up um, Maintenance Connection Express. This is specific for mobile devices, so we can see our septic tank in here. We can see any specifications about it. Again, we can go into our attachments. We can have a look at our attachment information and we can view that document. Again, we can see the document information about it and we can go back out as well and we can go back into the system. So this is great for any work orders on site, for any maintenance uh, teams as well. Again, we're going to show some additional videos uh, regarding this as well. So we've taken a look at maintenance connection, we've added in an asset, we've added in documentation related to it, and we've also added in the likes of preventive maintenance and access that from a mobile device. I'd like to say thanks for watching. Please click subscribe to be kept up to date with future videos. You can also follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for listening.